everyone, HHO for all. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together a wet cell that is made from stainless steel washers. Um, I had somebody request that I put this video together and then also they wanted to know if I could put it into an acrylic enclosure. So I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to be pressure fitting it between two pieces of cutting board that I cut to size and then also mounted a um, a little uh, uh, hose barb on. So anyway, I'll get started here and show you uh, what materials you'll need for this project. Um, you will need a total of looks like eight or no, excuse me, nine three-inch washers. Uh, three of these you're actually going to want to cut a small notch out two of them are going to be negative and one will be positive and the reason you're cutting out those notches is so that you can connect these quick connects onto the side you can see that I bent these here um, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be holding the cell upright inside of the acrylic and the only way to do it was to bend them um, you will also need a total of 10 one and a quarter inch washers all stainless steel uh, do not use zinc if you use zinc it will break down and you'll get dirty black swamp water so you don't want to do that um, and then a total of eight of these little one inch washers and eight nylon washers for spacers and then a three inch nylon bolt and nut and you will also want uh, some shrink tube uh, you want the shrink tubing the reason for that is is that we'll be covering up these connectors and shrink wrapping them so that uh, they don't degrade as quickly. Uh, it should help with hopefully keeping them from degrading as fast. And then uh, and the quick disconnects, I don't know if you can see that or not. I got these over at Home Depot. Um, you can also get them at Lowe's, uh, Ace Hardware, you name it. You can get them pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to assemble this and then uh, I will uh, put it into uh, enclosure and we'll see what kind of output we're getting off of it. So uh, let's put this thing together. So first things first, you take your nylon bolt and a one and a quarter inch washer, slip that down, and then take one of the washers with a notch, slip that down, and then the one inch washer and then a nylon spacer and then another one and a quarter inch washer real exciting stuff huh uh, another three inch washer another one inch nylon one and a quarter, another three inch, one inch spacer, one and a quarter, oops, three inch, and then another one inch, another spacer, and it's pretty much the exact same thing until you're done. Um, what you're going to want is you're going to want three neutrals in between the positive and the negative. Um, the first plate that you see here is going to be a negative. And so now we're to the point where we're going to be putting a positive in. Okay. 
Oops. Okay, I know this is riveting stuff, isn't it? So, anyway, I'll just wrap this up as quick as I can. Oops helps if I do it right. Okay. Okay. And there we go. And one more. Okay, so there we go. So now it's fully assembled, and then we just have to tighten the bolt. There's barely enough room on that 3 inch bolt. But as you can see in this acrylic, um, it's pretty much a perfect fit. There's a little bit of gap in there, which gives you just enough room for these quick connects. So. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off, I'm going to connect everything up, and then uh, I'll follow up on the rest of this video. Okay, so after you put the heat shrink tubing on there, it should look like this. Um, uh, hopefully there shouldn't be too much water that gets up inside of these connectors, but um, there will be some. So every once in a while I'll have to check the connections on it just to see if it's still if it's got any corrosion on it or if it's having any issues but um, I'm gonna put it in a container right now and hook it up to the power supply and see what we get okay got it mounted here um, of course this isn't in the acrylic um, and uh, another thing that I want to mention is these crappy little uh, uh, quick connects they're made of zinc they will degrade quickly so I, I didn't have any stainless connectors they can be purchased um, the only place I found them is online and um, you know just for the sake of time and just to illustrate you know whether this would work or not I use zinc but uh, I do recommend everything always be stainless because if you put zinc on there it's going to degrade it's going to corrode and you won't have a working cell for very long so anyway um, let's turn this thing on and let's see if it actually works okay uh, it's definitely working got a lot of production coming off of this thing now uh, the bottom and the top are both negative and the center is positive I tried it the other way around and surprisingly um, doing it in this configuration seems to get a little more output so I figured why not you know it's uh, it's actually using less power than having two positives um, using just a single positive and a negative on the top and bottom seems to be working pretty good and uh, that water is definitely cloudy so um, I've also got it hooked up to my amp meter here and it looks like it's good steady 8 amps so uh, it's not too bad not too bad at all um, I don't have any idea how much output it's actually going to be making um, but in the next video I'll put it in that acrylic container and hook it up and see if we can't do a flow test so anyway that's that uh, this has been HHO for all and I'm out of here <laughs>